What's up guys, Headphones Dealing here, back with a quick blog post update as far as Star Wars The Old Republic goes. So this is an update as far as completing my first flashpoints in the game. Um, as far as going solo in flashpoints is possible, so um, if you're so far, or actually so far as far as I've gotten in the game, a lot of the flashpoints seem to require high level characters. I'm at 52 and the one I have at the moment for Hammer Station is, requires at least 60, level 65 and a high um, healing um, companion or someone in the party to do such a thing. And since I'm not there yet, I wanted to at least give um, the board, boarding party and the foundry flashpoints to try to see if I could get through them. Um, as is and if it was worth the time away from the uh, my character story and originally I thought that they were I thought at least by going into the boarding party flashpoint that it was going to be impossible and I'd have to um, uh, skip that for now but what it actually taught me or actually the two flashpoints taught me two separate things so as far as the boarding party goes, um, it taught me or showed me that I, or where I can go in my inventory to call a droid. So if you're on a flashpoint that allows you to go solo and the third party member in the flashpoint is a droid, if you go into inventory and switch over to the middle tab, you can actually call the droid when it goes down because there are points in flashpoints where it would become hard or pretty difficult to complete if your character is not high enough level to complete the mission with yourself and a companion. So playing through the um, the flashpoint a couple of times and by getting to the second um, mini boss, I actually figured that out and once I did I was able to proceed. So that was actually a good learning experience in the game for me, and which was pretty nifty. And then going into the second flashpoint called the Foundry, um, it actually taught me a second thing, which is repairing my equipment. So initially going into it, I was trying to complete the flashpoint and I kept getting stuck at HK47. Um, and ultimately in trying to play the game, I got to a point where I was able to pick up on an armor bonus that was strong enough, but because a lot of my equipment was down to 0% durability, it really wasn't doing anything, so I was getting to um, these Jedi who were killing me really, really quickly, and I couldn't figure out why. So I was looking at my inventory, I saw 0% durability, and as it turns out, if you go to any droid, whether it's in the fleet or on whatever level you're at, you can do repair all and repair all of your equipment back up to 100%, assuming you have the cash to do so, or the credits to do so, um, which I did. So I repaired my equipment and tried the Foundry Flashpoint again, and I was able to get past HK-47 by defeating his droids and then attacking him and so on and so forth until he was completed. And the Foundry Flashpoint actually gave me a nice surprise once I got to the um, main boss. And, and it turns out to, or the Jedi prisoner that escaped from the Emperor turned out to be Darth Revan, or I guess just Revan. So I liked that little bit of continuity with Knights of the Old Republic because at the end of the games, um, Revan went out to find the source of the um, dark side and defeat it, and he was held prisoner by the Emperor for a number of years. He ultimately escaped and went to the foundry to rebuild HK-47 and try and build an army to defeat the Emperor. So if you're on the dark side Sith warrior path, then you would um, defeat Revan to save the Empire and turn over the foundry to the Emperor to use as part of his army. Um, I assume the light side would be to save Revan and abandon the foundry or blow it up so the Emperor couldn't use it. But since I didn't go that path, I don't know. Um, but overall, the stories were nice and it was good to 
understand the idea behind a flashpoint they're a pretty self-contained story arc that doesn't necessarily relate to your story class but you are able to get certain pieces of uh, loot to upgrade your character so in my case I got um, some new boots and armor and a lightsaber and things like that so most of my equipment as far as I can tell is over uh, level 100 so it's right around the 132 to 148 range if um, memory serves in my brief overview of all that so um, basically from here I'm gonna recontinue on my story my character story arc just because um, I did try starting the Hammer Station story arc, or sorry, the um, Hammer Station flashpoint, and my character isn't, like I mentioned at the start of the episode, is that my character isn't high enough level to complete it with myself and a companion, so I would need a couple of companions, uh, at least two more, to be able to join the party and um, at higher levels of at least 65 in, or more in order to complete it, or complete it with um other players in the game in order to um see what that's all about so for now i'm gonna skip that or any other flashpoints just because i'm not there yet and i do feel like i should upgrade my lightsaber as well and or lightsaber and armor as well so that um i can better complete those mi missions because i figure it's at about at that point of the game where it's slowly getting to be where I need to upgrade that with add-ons and modifications and stuff. Just like in Knights of the Old Republic 1 and 2, the core equipment can only get you so far, or later in the game it becomes that much more difficult um, to complete the um, game if you're on base level equipment, unless your character's other stats are high enough. So. Um, with that being said, I have gone back to the Imperial Fleet and I've upgraded some of my other abilities. So I do now have the ability for dual lightsaber throw. I've upgraded some of my other force powers. Um, I wasn't really paying attention to which one. I was just upgrading everything, but um, there's now, I think, I also got the fear power. So um, I can strike fear in my opponents when I'm attacking them and then fight with them. So there is that. Um, and then I've also, as just a bit of side thing, I was looking at some of the stuff I could buy and I did end up buying a speeder bike and I've learned how to equip that easily so I can more quickly travel in or more quickly travel on planets to get to various quests. So that should be, that should save a lot of time as far as travel around, um, different planets so I can get to those quests a lot more quickly and easily. So um there is that so that's all there is for this particular post so i just kind of wanted to share that update as far as what i'm up to in the game where i'm at a couple of things i learned that at this point in the game might be pretty obvious but um i kind of just wanted to share that um and make a post out of it as far as where i'm at um so with that being said, that's all there is for this particular review. So if you have any questions, comments, feedback, stuff I missed or stuff I, that might make things easier as far as where I'm at in the game for maybe upgrading my character or equipment or things like that. Like I said, I'm on the Sith or I'm on the Empire side, Empire Imperial side. I'm a Sith warrior class. Um, I haven't found a way to upgrade my equipment. So that's kind of one of the key pieces I think I'm missing at the moment. So. Um, I'm, I'm periodically checking the fleet when I return there after missions as far as upgrading that, but since I know how to upgrade my various other feats and force powers, I think doing that so far is good. And I'm upgrading my character's equipment as it goes as I see as I receive more and more higher rated items. And now that I know, I learned that I do need to repair my um, armor or my um, equipment periodically. I know I'll can be continuing to do that as well. So that's all there is for this particular um, episode post update thingy. So um, if you want to um, give your feedback, uh, comments, and tips and stuff like that, you can find me on Twitter at PatelN01. The website is headphonesneal.reviews for past episodes, subscription links, supporting the show, and all of that good stuff. And of course, by being a patron to the show, um, you got my early access to the video for the um, boarding party flashpoint as soon as or shortly after that went up and then an update for where I was in the game 
ahead of this post. So you can get that and more at patreon.com slash patel n01. But that's all there is for this particular post. Thanks for tuning in and until next time.